If you are one of the persons who are seeing jogging or running as a way of getting rid of all the stress accumulated during the day or as the greatest way to start uh, the day with but the knee pain is taking this away from you allow me to help you with these three movements to fix this. This channel must never be considered a substitute for advice provided by a doctor. Well, hello there guys and welcome back to Nikki's Fitness World. In today's video, we want to diminish at least the pain that is holding us back from running, from enjoying our activities. Now, I'm not a great fan of running just because of the pressure that is onto the joints, but if this is your way of relaxation, of, your, of uh, doing your cardio and you are enjoying it, I want to help you to do it correctly at least. I'm going to start off these three exercises with the activation of the adductors, mainly the long one. Why? Because one of its functions is to protect the knee joints. Unfortunately, on a daily basis, throughout our daily activity, we are not in engaging the adductor as much. That's why we need specific exercises to stimulate us. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use a band. These bands also have different resistance. I'm gonna go for the black one just because I know how uh, healthy my knees are. But if you're not sure or if you feel pain, try to go for the lightest, okay? The lightest resistance usually it's the lightest color into your set. Get your leg through and I want you to pay attention to the to correct technique. You want to support yourself first of all. Why? Because you don't want to take the focus onto your stabilization, yeah, rather than your adductor. So hold on to a wall, hold on to um, a machine or whatever you have around you, or you get the band onto. And from here, you want to have fully contact with the stable leg, chest out, strong abs, the feet a bit towards the outer area. Also, you want to engage your whole leg muscles in here and you don't want to allow your knees to come inwards at all, at all. From this position, you want at all times to keep a bit of tension into the band, yes? Yeah? So don't allow your leg to be pulled by the resistance band. You want to hold a bit of tension at all times. From here, the inner side of your heel you want to bring it towards the hole of the stabilization leg. Breathe in, hold a bit of the tension, breathe out and squeeze. Hold a bit in here and control back. Mind the tempo, the tempo is very important. Do not allow the band to pull you, okay? Do not allow your knee to come inwards. This will gonna worsen your condition rather than this, which is most likely to help you. Squeeze, one, two, three, squeeze, one, two, three, squeeze, one, two, three. For the second one, we've got the glute bridge. Unfortunately, guys, so many times this exercise is overlooked. Why? I can't really understand. Maybe it looks too easy, then that's why you don't really pay attention to it. But it's very helpful when building the strength of your posterior chain muscles. From a laid back position, you want to do a pelvic tilt to get your lumbar spine towards the mat. Strong abs in here. Step a bit forward. You want to push through your heels. You want your knees to be a bit outward. Breathe in and as you breathe out and you're tilting your pelvis, you want to push through your heels and lift up your glutes. At all times, you want to squeeze the glutes and to have a strong engaged core area all together. Again, mind the tempo. Breathe in, one, two, three, touching the ground and again coming back up. One, two, three, squeeze. Breathe in and breathe out, squeeze. Hold a bit of the tension in here, into the main point in here, into the strongest. Breathe in and up. 
breathe in and go. Make sure you're not getting your knees inwards. Holding a nice stance at all times, engaging your glutes, engaging your whole pelvis area and also your hamstrings. Last but not least, as we've targeted the inner side, we've targeted the posterior chain, now we're going to be targeting the front area. As we're activating, we are engaging our quads, so 99% of the people, of the human beings, uh, our quadriceps dominant when it comes to the muscles of the legs, yeah? So what that means, means these muscles are more activated, more developed, therefore more stressed than the uh, posterior chain area. What we want to do for the sake of the running, for uh, being able to relax and stretch and preventing from injuries, we want to stretch the area of our quads and our flexors all together. Now pay attention to the technique guys because it's very important in order to allow this side to relax and not allowing the pressure to come onto your lower back area. You want to go for a lunge. From a 90 degree, if this is your most, if you're not flexible enough, if you're in pain, or if you don't have mobility into your hips. If you are able to, you can step a bit forward. But the main thing is you want to use a mat. You don't want to do this on a hard surface for the sake of your knee, actually. So from here, you want to engage your core and allow this area to stretch. So you want to push as much as you can the flexors, the hip, in here, the inguinal area towards the mat. You want to allow it to relax. What you don't want to is to do this. You don't want to overarch your back because this will gonna lose focus from your hip and the pain will gonna go onto your lumbar spine. You don't want that. Again, engage your core and allow your hip to go towards the mat. Relax as much as you can. Breathe in and as you breathe out, I want you to feel, focus. My muscle connection is one of the most important things when it comes to the execution of every single exercise. Allow it to relax in here. And once you feel comfortable with this, you can also lift your arm. This is going to help the whole area to stretch even more, even further. Again, you don't want to turn your hip away. You don't want to put pressure onto the forwarded leg. Yeah, this is not doing much other than putting pressure onto your knee joint. You don't want that. At least perpendicular and relax this hip. There you have it, guys. Three uh, of the most important exercises when it comes to your knee rehabilitation. If you do have pain at any of these exercises, do stop and do double check the technique with your healthcare professional. If you're looking for a low impact cardio version, I've got you covered, so you want to watch this next.